I don't mean this in a bad way. When I say creativity is an addiction, what it's doing, it's identifying with your mind, body, and soul the connection that you've got. And yes, we keep answering that call or we ignore, and then we find ourselves in a falling position. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity, totally uncut because you know what? We all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. Waking up the creative mind. Ugh. We're all using different methods of required steps. I've always been jealous of my dog, Jazzy, and the reason why is because she can just get up and take off, just like that. And it's like, my God, how do you move so quickly so early? Because I battle with the clock in all things I do and expect, it's measured out in windows, which can add stress to the foundation of the process. We used to wake up at 4.30 in the morning, my wife and I did, because the job expected us to be there by 6 a.m., my neighbors, they still live that lifestyle, making sure that they hit the sack by 8 p.m. Look at that. We live by windows. This is, this is our time period. This is all we're going to get. And then this has to happen. And because we listen to meditation music throughout the night, the imagination remains clear of the clutter. What we haven't done is learn to turn it off before taking our first steps of the day. That causes an effect in how long it takes us to activate creativity. The goal is to keep the past right where it lives. The future, it gets here fast enough, so don't, don't put your focus on the future either. Being present puts the mind at rest. There's nothing I can do about the clock except to participate with its path. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer. Man, I just got off the phone a 20 minute conversation with sailor brinkley cook and she's got some sacred candles that are just mind-blowing and to hear her story as to why she is doing this with these sacred candles is is just something that'll just touch your heart and it will expand your personal growth but you've got to check her out sailor brinkley cook this is the daily mess now openly i gotta tell you I think I was touched by this conversation because I, I very much so this morning said that I am currently suffering from SAD, which is seasonal affective disorder. Not because of the recent changing of time, but rather a gray rainy sky four days in a row. See, I needed those candles. I needed those candles because that's how you change things in your life. And it does. It plays with your mental storms. And then you find yourself in positions where you've got to make a change in your surroundings or this self-portrait that you're living, you're, you're going to be activating it. And that's not where I want you to be. So you have to break the daily habits by stepping into the kitchen to create happy foods. Such like yesterday, my wife and I cooked homemade tomato soup. And to really expand on that, what we did was that I, I, I love melted grilled cheese sandwiches with tomato soup. So what I did was I put some seasonal croutons in there, allowed that to spread out. And then you get American cheese. And all of a sudden you have very hot tomato soup with with the melted cheese sandwich already in it, all in one bowl. Mm. See, going into the kitchen during those moments of SAD, seasonal affective disorder, doing something happy in your place where you're going, oh, I'm just feeling frumpy today. You know, it, it's too easy to get locked into an all day binge watch and binge watching. You know, we'll, we'll complain about a three and a half hour movie, but man, we'll watch five or six episodes of a, of, of a particular show on Netflix or, or on Hulu. We got we to gotta break that habit, too. And the way that we broke that habit yesterday was that we took a long drive with Jazzy the dog. Yeah, we got out there. Sure, it was rainy. It was ugly. But it still broke the habit. It broke the cycle of binge-watching television. And that's how you get beyond SAD. Instead of being addicted to that flat screen, find purpose in your growing screen. Writing is also a very important tool as well. It makes you personally aware... But the thing is, is that you've got to keep up the strength to keep the mindset moving forward because it's too easy to fall into things that you can no longer control. Writing is just like reading a book. When you're putting words on the paper, your imagination is going places as well. Learn to break the daily habits. There's a lot of people that suffer from seasonal affective disorder. I surround myself with a lot of lights, but it's not enough, especially on a gray, rainy, cold day. Break 
The Daily Habits. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.